Today we're doing the foundation of the Zaha building. The mat foundation actually supports the tower proper of the, of the project. And the mat pour here is around, it's 10,000 yards of concrete. It's a 24 hour continuous pour. It's about a, a total of 1,000 trucks, about 779 of them that will be cycling from five different batch plants. It's one of the biggest uh, mat foundation in Miami, definitely in top uh, five uh, foundations we ever poured. The planning for an event like this, that started about six weeks ago. We had a series of meetings week after week after week about the truck route, what route they would take to get to the job, the barricades to block off roads. There's just a tremendous amount of planning with all the parties involved. We're making sure that the trucks don't stop at any point. They come to the concrete pumps, they deliver the concrete and they get out and we make sure that they get back out on I-95 so that they can return to their plants. The structure of this building is very unique. The columns are on the outside and they have a curvy, sinuous look like many of Zaha's projects. Zaha worked very close with our local structural engineer to design the building to meet the Florida hurricane codes. So this exoskeleton is the concrete columns. That's what we're doing tonight. This is the start of the concrete structure of the building. This is basically the, the part where we actually start to truly go vertical. This is the very top of the foundation. From here, we'll go up and we'll be constructing the structure for about the next 24 months until uh, we get to the top of the building. And then it'll take almost a year to complete the building after that. It's very exciting for us to be able to bring a building of this caliber and this level of design to Miami. for a tower designed by an architect of this caliber to this height. And we have a 709-foot tower, which doesn't make it the tallest building in Miami, but certainly probably one of the most complex buildings ever built. This is the birth. We've been working on it for about a year and a half to two years, putting it all together. And now what's happening is it's actually coming to life, which I think is the most exceptional part about the project. The first time that people actually see Zaha Hadid's first tower that she's doing in the Western Hemisphere here. So it's a, it's a milestone.